Hi guys! Welcome sa Engyo Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang Ohm's Law. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Ano ba ang Ohm's Law? So basically, ang Ohm's Law, siya yung pinaka-basic at pinaka-gamiting law sa electronics or electrical engineering field. Bale, phenormulate ito ng isang German physicist at mathematician na si George Simon Ohm. At sa Ohm's Law, sinabi niya na ang kuryenteng dumadaloy sa isang element, let's say electrical element, ay directly proportional sa voltage across it at inversely proportional naman sa resistance nito. So, in formula, we can write it as I is equal to V over R where V is the voltage measured in volts or V I is the current measured in amps or A and R is the resistance measured in ohms or simply the symbol omega. So, pwede nating ma-analyze yung formula as this. Kung meron ka raw kuryente na mataas so let's say you have high current ang tendency niyan ay meron ka ring mataas na voltahe sa isang element while meron ka namang mababang resistance sa element at kung babalik ka rin naman natin kung meron ka namang maliit na kuryenteng dumadaloy sa element na to, meron ka ring maliit na voltahe across it. At this time, mas mataas yung resistance mo. So, logical lang naman ano. Mas mataas yung voltahe mo na, na sinupply sa isang circuit, syempre mas mataas yung kuryente na dadaloy. At kung mas mataas naman yung resistance mo doon sa circuit mo, mababa rin yung magiging daloy ng kuryente doon sa element mo. Okay? So ngayon, meron tayong uh, mnemonic para maalala natin tong formula. Ito yung uh, triangle. So, we have, let's say, so this is a triangle, V, I, R. So, ibig sabihin nito, pag hahanapin mo yung voltage na V, imamultiply mo yung magkatabing I tsaka R sa baba. Kapag naman nahanapin mo yung current, i-divide mo naman yung V sa resistance. So, V divided by R. Or V over R. Para naman hanapin yung resistance, i-divide mo naman yung V sa I. So, V divided by I or V over I. Now, We can apply this formula, let's say, sa isang simple circuit. Let's say, isang, isang resistor na sinusupplyan ng isang voltage source. Let's say, battery. Okay, drawing tayo. So, let's say, meron kang battery. So, let's say meron kang 12 volts battery. 
And then meron kang resistor dito na 1 kilo ohm. So therefore meron kang dadalay na kuryente sa circuit na to. So ano ngayon yung kuryenteng dadalay sa circuit na to? Or what is the current flowing dun sa resistor? So using the Ohm's law, so since ang anong natin ay yung I, gagamitin natin yung V divided by R. Okay. So we have the formula I is equal to V over R. So we'll just substitute the values. No? We have 12 volts. Divided by 1 kilo ohm or 1,000 ohm. Therefore, our answer is ohm. Therefore, our answer is 0 0.012 amps or 12 milliamps. Okay. Paano naman kung baguhin natin? Okay, let's say, paano naman kung meron tayong given resistor na 10 kilo ohm? And then, meron daw tayong dumadaloy na kuryenteng 1 milliamp. So, ano ngayon yung voltage or battery supply natin? So, this time, ang unknown, V. So, therefore, ang formula ang gagamitin natin ay I times R. So, we have V is equal to I times R. So, I is equal to 1 milliamp or 0 0.001 ampere and then our resistor is 10 kilo ohm so we have 10,000 ohm therefore our answer is 10 volts okay last scenario let's say naman this time meron kang battery na 12 volts and then, meron kang dadaloy na kuryente na 2 milliamps. So, ano ngayon yung resistance ng resistor natin? Okay. This time, R yung hinahanap. So, di-divide natin yung voltage sa current. So, we have... R is equal to V over I. V is equal to 12 volts over I is equal to 2 milliamps or 0 0.002 amps. Therefore, our answer is 6,000 ohms or 6 kilo ohms. Okay. That is the concept of Ohm's law. So basically, the formula is current is equal to voltage over resistance. So mahalaga itong Ohm's law dahil ito yung pinaka foundation ng lahat ng formula na madederive mo sa electrical or electronics engineering field. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.